hello guys welcome back to our channel today i present to you a day in cayenne's life cayenne is a 11 year old girl living here in the village in a small village Pakwash. this is where she stays and here she is with a big smile because i'm going to be filming her today and she's really excited to be on camera please just do me a favor and subscribe hit the like button if you haven't and press the notification bell so cayenne is just 11 years old but what she does during the day will wow you out so let's go into this video and see what she does here we go please enjoy good morning in jesus name good morning in jesus name Disclaimer before I start this video, this is no child labor in any form and I want to inform you that this is not child abuse. Basically, this is what every 11 year old in my village does willingly and enjoying their work at home. I personally did this with an, when, when I was 11 and I had no problem with it. So this being a dry season and no one is going to school, Kayen wakes up at 7.30 in the morning and this is where she sleeps in the kitchen and at the same time it's her bedroom. So most kids here in my village sleep in the kitchen and their parents sleep in another hut because like the, our houses don't have like rooms, it's only one house so you just have to build multiple houses for them to sleep in so the young girls like this sleep in the kitchen so basically when you wake up in the morning what you have to do is to get your bedding out and put it against the hut for it to hair it uh -huh. so this is what she was doing that's her blanket and the papyrus mat so after doing that, we shall see what Kayen is doing next. She gets a cup of water and then washes her face. So because we don't, like she doesn't have a toothbrush, so what she does is she uses a stick to brush her teeth, but not every day. She does it like every after a day. So maybe today that wasn't a day for brushing. So here she cleans a saucepan to put in water for tea and then straight goes into the kitchen to light up the fire. This being a dry season, we don't go to the garden every day. We only go to harvest and we come back immediately. So she remains at home and make breakfast for people that have gone to do the harvesting of crops. So they have to come back after like three hours and find when tea is ready. So guys here, she's trying to light the fire so that she can put um, water for tea in the morning. So those are the firewoods. And trust me, she knows what she's doing because she has been doing, it, doing this for years. Did I say doing? So she has already lit the fire over light, light the fire. Now she has put the tea and then let's see what she's do next. So she has to clean the kitchen, stroke bedroom. This is the same room that she sleeps in and this is the same room that is the kitchen. See, so there's you can see. And from the tender age, we are taught by our parents that you can never cook in the kitchen when it's dirty. First, clean the kitchen and make sure the environment you're cooking in is clean and safe for your health. 
So Cayenne seemed to have understood the assignment that her parents taught her and here she cleans the kitchen and even sweeps the compound before she heads to the stream to get some water. Comment below if an 11 year old also does this in your village. Please let me know. And if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please take this opportunity to subscribe so that you don't miss a lot that is coming in. So we always dump the rubbish just nearby. There is a pit there that we use sometimes back to lay bricks or to make bricks. But then we dump there our rubbish and then we can and then we can burn it some days afterwards when it's dry all. So Cayenne is done with lighting the fire, putting water for tea and even sweeping the house. So let's see what is next. So what's next? I think now she's going to wash plates. So she has to get them from inside and take them outside let's wait for her to come back so basically this is what she does every day like seriously this is her morning routine without filtering without anything without cutting this is what she does every day so cayenne gets the utensils out ready to be watched so basically why is she washing utensils in the morning we have our supper at around 6.30 or 7 p.m. in the evening, but we don't wash the plates immediately. We don't wash the utensils. We always keep them for the next day. There's no power in my village, so people tend to sleep so early or just tell stories before they go to bed and then they finally sleep. But we don't really do our utensils at night. We have to wait for them like we have to keep them and then wash them in the next day in the morning i think the fire is taking long to light so she has to keep on blowing finally it lights up There is the chicken making for us noise. So Kayen is really active young girl and talkative but because because so now I think she's this, going like to fish I'm, water like yeah see, but then you people camera, I will not like go with that to the stream because so really I have things to do all away, oh, yeah. but yeah. let's go so regardless. I'm going to leave her to go then I'll video her when she's back let's see if she's going to come back with water <laughs> Bye. So at her age, Kayen, trust bye. Me, she carries a 20 liter jerry can of bye. water. I don't know if it's a culture, but when you're 10 years and you don't carry 20 liter jerry can, other kids will, will always laugh Finish at you. All. So we tend to practice. Yeah. By the time we okay. turn eight, we can already carry 20 liter jerry can. As you can see, the kids at the background. Two of them have 20 liters and yes, the correct. other ones were like six years. They so have she's 10 back, liters. But she can't put that jerry can so down. Really no more in my so village. going to help her. But <laughs> so I think now she's going to wash her. Utensils. So I'm going to leave you guys here. Yeah? Then I'll continue when she's on another activity.
so guys comment below if an 11 year old in your village or your town anywhere where you live can do what Kayen is doing and um i will not get tired telling you that you should subscribe because because you should subscribe hit that like button for me and press the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any video on this channel let's grow together What is common with many African videos that I watch when you're washing plates in the morning, these birds can always come so that they can get on the leftovers around <laughs> so that they can also feed on them. So, but then that's the reason we do dry our plates or utensils up on the utensil stand so that they cannot reach there. Once you wash your utensils, you have to make sure they are clean and safe from any bird or animals around the home. So we keep them up there as you will see. Kayen also puts the utensils up the utensil stand when she's done washing them all well. So these are the saucepans. Guys, I told you why our saucepans are dark behind, like on the outer side and inside it's all okay because we use firewood to cook so basically that's the reason You guys, this is so sparkling. Did you see that kettle before? And then this is after. Okay, don't see me on a man. So this is where she was hanging. So this is where she was hanging. So this is where she was hanging. So she's done with washing the utensils, sweeping the compound, sweeping the house. So those are our fire, that's the bringing utensils water, Tanya was talking like about. All the things the utensils she has already, she has already washed, so she has to keep them there so that they are safe and clean yeah. for home use. So she wants and to show those, you guys, those are the mingling sticks. Konkofo <laughs> and I was telling her to smile. So she's still <laughs> preparing yeah. breakfast. And then, and then from breakfast she has to prepare lunch and then dinner. Trust me, she does a lot of work throughout the day. But for this video, let's stop here. This is our morning routine. So here we are for lunch. I didn't I, I wasn't at home to capture everything but now she prepared lunch you guys will be seeing and now she's making posho she's making posho 
There's a lot of wind. I think I should enter. So I told you people you always eat that brown portion that is cassava flour so in my language it's called quenongora meaning that uh, food that is made from cassava flour so that is it I hope you've seen that in many of my videos that's our staple food and us being the people from the river the Jonam we eat it with fish or small fish, the silver fish, anything. But I think today she's having it with silver fish and some beans. Yeah. So that's cayenne for you. I don't yet. I was telling her to look at the camera just a little bit. Then she can proceed. So to train a kid how to make this posture, basically they start when they are like eight years old. And they can start by only making like one cup of water for only like themselves and the kids that are at home, like the kids below four years, so that they can learn, they practice. Then with time, practice can make perfect. Then they are able to make food, to mingle portion that is enough for the whole family. So during day, we are really like few number of people at home because some of them have gone to the garden so she's able to make food like for six people and that's what she has done today if you've ever been in Pakwach you know it's very hot you can see she's even sweating like Pakwach is literally the hottest district in Uganda, <laughs> like without doubt. I've been to Gulu, but Pakwach is like very hot. So during December, we sleep outside and January. Maybe you guys will make a video for you when we are sleeping outside. We do literally sleep outside because it's very hot. The heat inside the house, you cannot handle it in late December and early January. So she has to warm that sauce because she had prepared it before making the portion so she has to warm it that's what she's doing by the way cayenne goes to school but because of covid they have been at home for two years but she's in primary three she would have been in primary five by now yeah but she goes to a local primary school just in my village here I'll show you the school soon, by the way. Without doubt, she can do everything at home. Actually, I didn't finish like all her activities during the day, but trust me, she does a lot. She does a lot, which is applying to every 12 of year, 13, 11, 10, 15 in my village, and they are okay with it. So here she serves the silver fish in one big bowl. That one is for elder people or big people. And then the plastic plates, they are for the kids basically today. That, that one will be for the twin and the other one for the other twin. And the other one will be for the other young boy. I think you've seen him in the video. He's much younger than the twins. Yeah. Those are beans, the one she's putting there, and this is a silver fish. Oh, omena, omokene. So, in our village, this is for big people, and the other one is for kids. So, the kids eat separate, and then the big people will eat all together there. So, that's the served food. Ready. See, I'm not going to show you guys when they are eating. I don't think that's proper for them. They'll be shy. Cayenne, thank you. Hi. Bye-bye.